Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Soul Talk Energy Insight. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jackie Ellis. I'm from JackieEllis.com. I'm an intuitive guide and mentor and Reiki master and my friends call me an energetics master. Basically, when you boil it down, I like help people decode the energy that they have within them that they're using to create a life that they love. This week is an exciting week of messages that I've received. Um, it's called Transformation Takes One Step at a Time. So you, you guessed it. We're going to talk about transformation this week. So um, I've been given some tips. And uh, before we get into the actual messages that I've already received, um, Archangel Metatron is interested in re relaying a specific message directly from him. So um, for those of you that don't know who Archangel Metatron is, um, I'm using Amanda Ellis's Oracle cards to pull this reading. Archangel Metatron um, was Enoch in the Bible. Archangel Metatron decided that he wanted to have an experience on Earth. And so when he came to Earth um, as a human, he, he was named Enoch. So I'm just gonna pull some card, pull a card. What, what is the energy? What, what is the message you'd like to share for June seventh to the thirteenth? Archangel Metatron. Here's a big one, and one that actually has been impacting a lot of people that I've been doing healing for this week. Um, it's called Ancestors Appreciation and Healing. So, <laughs> you see the long line? So, we have a long line of ancestral lineage. All of us do. And there's lessons to be learned there. There's there's traumas that have carried, been passed on from generation to generation. And a lot of it's coming up for healing right now. A lot of it is surfacing and in, in ways that people don't understand how it's surfacing. So a lot of people think that generational trauma is just emotional or habits that have been passed on from generation to generation. But it's more than that. It can, it can be passed on through ailments and dis-ease in, in the body. It can be, it, children can be born with energy that's stuck in their liver, energy that's stuck in their pancreas, energy that's stuck in their heart, and it can look like heart problems or pancreatic problems or whatever or always having chronic inflammation in the intestines but what it really is is when you do the energy releasing with someone with a gift like myself that can look at the energy and read what where it came from um you can really delve into what the message was, the, the, generational, the generational trauma that was held onto by those people from years ago. And I'm talking like 1500s and 900s and sometimes it's like from the year 356. It, is, it can be that old. And when we allow ourselves to release and heal that energy, we not only give ourselves a fresh start for this life, but we actually give future generations a fresh start too because they don't have that energy passed on to them. 
it will stop with us. The, the appreciation that we can have in those moments is to know that it wasn't us that was did anything wrong when when to to feel this way that we are feeling but it also allows us to appreciate the hardships that our ancestors went through not knowing that they could release that and the pain that they must be in as they watch generations and generations go by and holding on to this pain and trauma and, and turmoil in their own lives. When we heal the generational trauma, this is what he's saying, when, he, when we heal the generational trauma, our ancestors are hugging us and appreciating those moments of healing. Our ancestors are supporting us from afar and loving us through those painful moments. And there are moments where I have been working with a client, working with someone And I will feel the ancestors coming in and hugging that person as they release the pain and, and, and allow themselves to forgive. Not only themselves, but those other people. Being able to do that for yourself is a gift. And it's a gift that allows you to accept transformation. One step at a time. Thank you, Rajwan. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Um... What week is the week of June 7th to the 13th? Well, we just finished the new moon week, so we would be going into the waxing quarter moon. The waxing quarter moon on the light mastery map that you can download in my web on my website is um, our lower chakras. And it's our boundaries, our, it's our domain for our boundaries. So there could be some boundary stuff that is coming through for people. So a lot of trials and tribulations or lessons around boundaries. Um, it's, it's our domain around our will, will, what we're willing to accept in our life, what we're willing to do for our life. Um, our support, how supported do we feel? The limits that we have for ourselves, um, the resources that we use, and knowing that we have infinite resources available to us through our, our universal support, and space. What do we mean by space? Well, space could be creating space for yourself so that you can move through a transformation moment. Um, it could be creating space for another person to help them through a transformation moment. Not meaning that you do it for them, but you just, you give them the support that, that they may need in that moment. And that might be giving them the space by you walking <laughs> out of the room. Um, so when we are struggling in the week of the waxing quarter moon, we could find ourselves um, kind of in a victim standpoint. We could find ourselves ruled by fear or 
ruling for, by fear. So we can either be on one extreme a victim or the other extreme a bully. Both are shadow. Both are not being in our power in some way. We, when we are struggling, we might be focusing on a problem or a disaster or, or not like not looking at the negative all the time. It, we could feel disempowered or we could be disempowering towards another person. When we are struggling, we, we will forget about our boundaries. We will, or we will set very rigid boundaries for ourselves. So we are like, there's a wall there and we're not willing to budget. We're not willing to move it in any form or any way. You know, when, when we're in, in powerlessness, we, we will find ourselves weak willed. So we will stuff that we wanted to do better. We find ourselves doing, and it might be just a reaction because we are uncertain about things or we just have stuffed our emotions so we start stuffing our emotions in other ways um, or there could be a fear of rejection or abandonment that's driving it but either way this energy that the the when we're in shadow for this week for the waxing quarter moon it can feel like very scattered energy so we feel like everything is our responsibility and we need to fix everything and no one else can help us and it becomes overwhelming and we're trying to control whatever we think we can control even though even other people <laughs> when it's not our responsibility to control those things. And so in those moments, the best thing that we could do is, is to slow right down and recenter ourselves and find that loving compassion for ourselves so that we can figure out what truly is important in those moments try to see something from a different perspective than we were seeing it a moment ago. Okay. Let's get to the overall message. While there have been moments of resistance or feeling like you need to defend yourself, once you allow yourself to receive what God wants to reveal to you, there is a transformation within your mind that helps you learn more about your journey. You know, transformation is a choice. We can choose to realize the significance of an experience and the resistance we have around shedding old beliefs. And if we do this, we allow, if we allow this to happen, we will be shown the fruit and know that we are supported as we, we release the burdens that have hidden our true selves. Burdens are like blankets, shadow blankets, that hide who we truly are. Hide who we, we are, how we, it, they hi, it hides our true purpose in life. And it is, it's heavy. It's a heavy burden to carry. 
But if we allow ourselves to realize the significance of those burdens, of each and every one of those burdens that we have carried for so long, and notice when we are in resistance about letting things go, then we're able to see the fruit and we're able to see how much closer we are to actually understanding and getting to know who we really are inside. If we choose to hold on the flip side, if we choose to hold on to the resistance and fight, fight the transformation. It can leave us feeling exposed, emotionally raw, and with no growth to show for the energy that we expended. The messages that we're getting, getting, get, we're, <laughs> the messages that we're giving, right, that we're getting right now is to don't give up. Choose transformation. Choose to see the resistance and release the burdens that are holding you back. As you do this, you will continue to expand and grow, learning to feel supported in new ways. I think that's the key here is because as we go through the journey, as we allow ourselves to do this step by step, we, we learn that we are supported. When we don't know our true selves, when we don't, we, all, we, all we feel is this, all these masks that we're holding or this, you know, this facade that we're, we're living and it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like ourselves. When, we, when, it, we're, when we're in that state, we look to other people to support us, but that's not who we need to look to. But when we work through and do the transformation that we're being asked to do and shed those old beliefs and break those, shatter those masks and unearth those beliefs that have been holding us back, the true support that we feel is the support of being able to know that we are supported by the universe. Know that God is supporting us by giving us this loving energy to nudge us and move us forward and help us rise up a little bit more each time. Number one, God's loving energy is helping us release the burdens holding us back from doing the work we are meant to do. Allow the transformations to happen and you will receive the gifts you need to step into your soul's purpose. You know, there's lots of people that will sit there and they'll go, well, so-and-so has this wonderful gift and so that person's doing their thing and how come I'm not getting anything? Doesn't happen that way. We can't, we can't expect to have the same gift as someone else. We can't expect that our journey is going to be the same as someone else's. And we certainly can't expect a gift to be given to us when we don't know our purpose, when we are, are struggling to release what is preventing us from knowing what our true purpose is. Tap into God's loving energy and understand that every single experience helps you move through the transformation one step at a time. 
Number two, you are supported with every step you take to release the burdens you carried within you. With every step, celebrate your accomplishments. Know that releasing old beliefs isn't always easy and doing what is needed for your journey is worth appreciating in every way. You know, God loves us through the journey, but we really need to love and appreciate our own journey every step of the way. Yes, every painful trigger that comes, try and love yourself through it and really try and appreciate it as you step through that transformational moment. Number three, hmm. nurture and love the journey as it is. Every small step matters when you are focusing on releasing old ways and allowing transformation to happen. You know, a lot of people think, oh, well, it's, it's nothing. I'm, just, I'm not going to worry about that today. Well, I can tell you that that little thing is the start of something bigger that is ready to come in. So you can push it aside, but whatever is waiting to come in won't come in unless you do the little thing. And if you've been doing this journey for a while, I can tell you that God's loving energy brings forth the big stuff first and then it's the little stuff the little niggly stuff that helps just cleanse the do the final cleanse for those layers so that whatever big stuff that's waiting for us whatever that is it will come once the little stuff is flowing through. Otherwise, you'll get bits and pieces. Hence, it's like, ooh, I wonder what that's about. Ooh, ooh, oh, look at that. Oh, no, I, I don't understand what's going on. It's because the niggly stuff isn't, isn't through, isn't cleaned, isn't cleansed, isn't healed, isn't let go. If you let it go, the big stuff, the big vision stuff will come in. Now is an exciting time. God is handing out more gifts than ever before. God is preparing people for their journey. God is asking people to step into their journey, step into their soul's purpose. But in order to do that, you need to work through this transformation that is being asked of you one step at a time. Appreciate the journey. I appreciate you and thank you for joining me. Do like, share or subscribe. Until next time, be simply you. Take care.